Hey, see your followers. First of all, welcome to this channel and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and like this video or watch till the end and then like it, like this video because how do you know that it's good? But trust me, it's going to be amazing. And today I'm going to talk about custom events in Google Analytics 4. By the way, if you haven't upgraded or installed Google Analytics 4 yet, go check out my previous video about how to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. Even the official Google Analytics account on Twitter shared this video, so it should be good. And today we start, we'll start with Google Analytics 4 custom events. So today we are going to talk about Google Analytics custom events. But first of all, uh, there is something that I want to tell you about. Custom events in Google Analytics, in Universal Analytics. So it's so confusing. I will call it Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. That's going to be much easier. So um, events in Universal Analytics are different from what you're going to see in Google Analytics 4. And they are not um, automatically taken from your Universal Analytics to Google Analytics 4 when you are upgrading. Um, Google Analytics 4 collects some events by default. For example, page view, file downloads. These are events that are uh, that are collected by default. But when we talk about, for example, form submission or um, subscription to your newsletter, this is something which you need to configure you by yourself. And this is going to fall into this category of custom events. And then you can build uh, goals from these events, from basically any events in Google Analytics 4. So I haven't still haven't found any comprehensive guide on Google Analytics 4 custom events. So that's why I decided to create one. Um, and I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to take in order to successfully um, create a custom Google Analytics 4 event in this video. Let's dive in. So now we are going to set up tracking for a custom event in Google Analytics 4. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I have a website here and I'm going to track who submits this form. Um, what I'm doing, I go to Google Tag Manager and I choose tags. I choose new tag and name it, uh, for example, SEO skills, uh, GA for event so that I understand that it's for Google Analytics 4 specifically. And in Google, Google Tag Manager, there is a specific uh, event here. It isn't better now, but that's okay. Here I choose um, G4 tag configuration. And if you haven't watched my previous video about setting up uh, Google Analytics 4 on your website, go and check it out first, because that's where this tag originates. Um, Event name is, okay, let's um, have SEO skills, SEO skills uh, checklist download so that I understand what's going on. This is the name of the event that I'm going to see in my Google Analytics. So make sure this uh, event name is descriptive and you understand what's going on. Um, you can set event parameters here as well. Uh, this is not uh, this is not required. You can uh, go like you can work without any uh, additional parameters set up. And I'll show you that Google Analytics 4 is actually collecting lots of parameters by default. But in case you want to set, for example, um, if there is a value uh, assigned to my event, I can put it here. This is going to be value, and then in case um, I have a variable for it, I can use a variable or I can use just text and the value is going to be uh, 99, let's, let's put it this way. And I can also um, use currency here and currency is going to be Canadian dollar. Uh, so these are custom event parameters that I'm going to send in addition to additional event parameters that Google Analytics 4 is already, um, is already collecting. Then I choose triggering, triggering. I already have I already have a trigger for this, so I'm not going to, to spend, time now, spend time now creating this trigger. Um, I click Save, and what I'm going to do next is Preview. 
and this is going to be interesting. So um, I'm going to I actually need this home page. And then I started. And that's when everything happens, right? So first of all, before I um, go on with uh, triggering this event, I want to show you how this actually works in Google Analytics. And this is very fascinating. Um, in the debug mode, I will be able to see this in the debug mode. Why? Because uh, when I'm debugging an event in Google Tag Manager, uh, there is a special tag added to uh, the URL, which is GTM uh, debug X. Uh, you can see, oh, you can see it here. Anyway, uh, there is a tag added here so that it, it's automatically sent to Google Analytics debug mode. What I'm going to do next is to just uh, test how this is working. Uh, so I'm submitting some nonsense information and then click and uh, the event should be triggered. So first of all, I'm going here and I see that my event has been triggered, which is amazing. And then I go here and I see that this event has been triggered as well. So I'm currently in the back view in Google Analytics. And here I can see all different parameters that are sent um, here. And where I can also see these parameters in the real time. So there is a debug mod, but there is also real time reporting. And if I drill down here, so first of all, look, this is the name, uh, there is not enough space, but there is, this is the name that I created in Google Tag Manager. This is my custom name. I can change it if I want to, but that's where I told you to be specific so that you understand what this event is about when you are seeing it in your Google Analytics reports. So I'm uh, going here and I see, remember that I added only currency and value to this event. So all other parameters are collected by default. And I can see that there is campaign currency, currency which is um, which is a custom, uh, custom parameter that I added. So this is going to be custom and I will see, yes, exactly, I will see Canadian dollar here as I assigned Canadian dollar to this uh, parameter. So campaign debug mode, uh, this is uh, just to know that I was looking at it in the debug mode. Engagement, uh, session ID, session number, medium, and also page location, page refer, page title, source, and finally value. Value, again, value is something that I sent, uh, that I sent additionally. Uh, let's try page location, and this will tell me on which page the event was triggered. And as you can see here, there is a parameter which is added by Google Tech Manager when you are testing something, when you're debugging something. So when uh, this event happens outside of the debugging mode, I will see just uh, seochallenge.co here. Um, okay, so I can go ahead and publish my uh, Google Tech Manager tag. That's what I'm going to do um, after, or actually let's do it right now. Um, okay, if I'm happy with what I'm seeing here, I can just uh, go to Google Tag Manager. Um, oh, no, not preview. Nope. Uh, I just can Google, go to Google Tag Manager and, uh, for example, G4 event configured and then publish. And once I publish everything uh, that I just did here will be available here as well available in your google analytics not in any bug mode but when somebody uh, does this action it will be seen in your google analytics form and now there is going to be a really interesting part so i showed you that um, there are some things that um, google analytics is already some parameters that google analytics is already collecting but what's weird here is that uh, if I go to all events, oh, I might not see it here yet. Okay, cool. So I'm, uh, I can't see this event here yet because it was just configured. But luckily, I have another website where I was testing a lot with Google Analytics for custom events. So I will show it to you. Um, so I can go to all events here. 
And one of the events that I have is e-commerce newsletter sign up, which is happening on my, my website. Um, so the information that I will see on this page will be just uh, this information, this information, and this. What's interesting in Google Analytics 4, that even though custom parameters such as page location and all the things that I've showed you, um, even though they are collected automatically, they are not automatically reported to you back in this report. And I think this might change because to me, it doesn't actually make sense. Uh, but for now, you will need to do one more step to make sure that it's actually reported on here. Uh, and what do you need to do? Uh, you need to go to all events and click manage custom definitions. That's where you add custom definitions. So page location is a parameter that is uh, is populated in Google Analytics. So I add, um, let's for example, edit it. So I add event parameter and then I assigned a name to it. It can be any name. So this is this name is custom and this uh, is going to be a parameter which is available. Um, Let's, let's start from scratch. So here are the parameters which are available here. Um, and for example, um, yeah, video, video URL or medium, for example. I don't have reporting on medium um, by default before I create this custom, demand, custom definition. Um, and this is completely different from from universal analytics. Uh, so this is something to to bear in mind that you would need to register these custom definitions in order to see them in your uh, report. So uh, back here again, um, do you see the page here? So it, sh it shows page location when. Um, where this custom event is happening. Before I registered uh, this page uh, as page location, I couldn't see this. And then the same happened to page refer as well. So in order to have this, you need to register your custom definition. And then um, a few hours later, or maybe next day, it will appear in your report. And most likely, uh, it's not retrospective, so uh, most likely you will see not set for all the events that happened before uh, you registered this custom definition, and you will see the information for all the events that happened afterwards. This is a really interesting thing. Um, and the next thing that I want to show you is to, so you created a custom event. Like in Universal Analytics, you can have events, but in order to create goals from these events, you need to um, you need to go one step further, right? And here is the same. You can go to all events, and this is really easy here. Um, you can just mark an event as a conversion, and that's it. So for example, I, it doesn't really make sense to mark click as a conversion because or click or uh, session start, for example, as a conversion because uh, it's not actually it's not actually a conversion, right? But when it comes to, for example, these custom events that I created, e-commerce SEO newsletter sign up or uh, SEO course weekly sign up, these are conversions for me. And for example, file down file download could also be a conversion for me. So you just mark it as a goal, and then it's reported on in conversions. And conversions are here. So we can choose a conversion, for example, e-commerce newsletter sign up here and see the information about this um, goal, including value. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you. And uh, just to sum it up, what you need to do, uh, you need to configure a custom event in your Google Tag Manager it's really great to debug it to make sure that it's working. Um, then you um, then you just add custom parameters, any custom parameters that you want to your event. Then you register custom parameters and all parameters that Google Analytics collects by default as custom definitions in Google Analytics 4, because be without that, they are not going to be reported on your events page. Uh, if you need to mark your custom event as a goal, you just 
uh, you just toggle it on all events page and this is going to be marked as a goal as well and it's going to be reported as a conversion um i've spent lots of time on um, debugging this and i know that it can be quite intimidating at first but trust me when you go through all this process you will understand how all this works and this is not set in stone also and google analytics is going to change many things here i'm pretty sure about that so uh hopefully this is going to become even easier um after the changes okay so now we are done i hope it was helpful for you i hope i hope and i know that you successfully set up event a custom event in your google analytics 4 let me know in the comments like this video subscribe to this channel 100 percent because there's going to be at least one or maybe two or maybe three i don't know yet videos about google analytics 4 but at least one how to track uh, youtube videos on your um in your google analytics 4. <laughs> so subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next videos